Welcome back to 843 TV. Joining us now is Russ Whiteford. He is the chair of a special event coming up here on Hilton Head Island called Pedal Hilton Head Island. Russ, thank you for joining us today on this beautiful day. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, this is an event coming up very soon this month. Would you share about the event itself and what organization it benefits? Sure. Uh, our event, uh, Pedal Hilton Head Island, benefits the Boys and Girls Club of Hilton Head Island. Um, there, there's over 4,000 clubs throughout the United States that serve over 4 million kids uh, in our country. Uh, our Hilton Head Club, uh, we have over 200 kids each day that uh, we provide services for. Mm -hmm. And some of the services include after school care, what are some of those things? Well, you know, you say after school care, we really focus on uh, helping our kids academically, uh, help them with learning about uh, healthy life choices. Um, and we, we try to make them understand that it's important to be productive, good, caring citizens. So it's actually an after-school enrichment program, in my, in my opinion. Absolutely. And in the summertime, uh, we are open for 12 hours, and many of our kids are with us the whole day. And um, we really our volunteers are incredible and they become so close with these kids. It's, it's a wonderful bonding session that takes place. So this is an event that's going to benefit them. Tell us about the event itself. Sure. Um, actually, this event was previously called Pedal for Kids. Uh, we rebranded ourselves and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But uh, the event itself is the second largest fundraiser for our club very, very important to our club. Um, and it is a community cycling event, which has grown to be a regional cycling event for all levels of cyclists. And the end result is our goal is to raise $60,000 uh, for our club to help our kids with their programs. That's wonderful. So tell us a little bit about the mission of the Boys and Girls Club on Hilton Head. Well, the mission is consistent with what I was previously stating. It's, it's really, to enable our young people, especially those that need us the most, to be productive, caring citizens. And that's what we focus on, and um, our success record is, is very good. Well, those are lucky parents. As a mother of a two year old, or a three year old and a five year old, I have to tell you, those who your kids are with, since they spend more time with you all than they do with their working parents, it means the world to have people looking after your children and know that they're in Absolutely. great hands. Yeah, we were actually chatting a little bit before we sat down to have this forum, and, and you know, it's different than when I was a kid. Both parents tend to be working, there's a lot more single parenting going on, and when those kids are done with school, they need a healthy, productive place to go. And to I think it's awesome. Place, yep. To have that place to be. Yep. And nothing warms your heart more than their kids saying, I want to go back. I don't yeah. want to go home. I'm having fun, Mom. <laughs> Are you here already, Mom? <laughs> it's great that you mentioned that, Vanessa, because our kids, if you ask them why they come to the club, because they say it's safe and it's fun. But you have to remember, our kids um, come from some pretty tough backgrounds. Uh, most of our kids are brought up by a single parent. Some of them don't even have a place they call home because they're moved from family member to family member. Uh, and the average uh, household income of our families is $15,000 or less. And these kids, a lot of times, don't get a, a great meal each day. Uh, we're very pleased and proud that uh, we serve over 39,000 meals a year to our kids. It's amazing. Because when they come to our after school, they come over, the first thing they come in and they have a little snack and we serve healthy food. So, and then they get into their academic uh, support that we offer. It's called Power Hour and we help them with their homework. And, and so it's, boy, we have a lot of volunteers and you walk out and watch them walk out of the club and they're smiling <laughs> because they've had a positive impact. And, in many instances, act as a uh, family role member for these kids. And speaking of volunteers, you have a pretty special volunteer you're going to be honoring as part of PEDAL, don't you? Oh, yes, but I, I have to tell you about last year's volunteer. <laughs> um, an incredible person, uh, retired four-star General Arthur Brown, who lives here yes. on the oh, island. Brown, Art. Brown. Art is a dear friend, and um, 
has been very involved with the Boys and Girls Club, but here is a gentleman, and he gave me approval to say his age, at the age of 86 last year, biked 62 miles wow. to help wow. raise money. Uh, this year's uh, honoree is a pretty incredible person, too. Um, he is a community leader. Uh, he has a passion for cycling, and I would say was probably solely responsible for Hilton Head uh, receiving its gold cycling award. And we are the only community in the Southeast to have this award. Wow. And uh, Frank Babel is a true cycling advocate of safety and works very hard at donating his time to be a cycling advocate. And that allows people to come here, cycle at all levels in a very safe environment and benefits our economy. Cool. Well, we have just a few seconds left. Give us an idea of how we register for the event. And also, is there anything new happening this year? Oh, lots of newness. I'll touch upon that quickly. All new routes. And I, I shout out to the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office and the town of Hilton Head because our 40 and 62 mile riders will be using the bridges and the flyover for mm. the first time. Oh, wow. 50% uh, of our participants are from outside 50 miles, you can see, and we appeal to all cycling levels. Family fun ride on the beach, path rides, and our 40 and 62. And to register, just go on pedalhiltonheadisland.org, and all the information is there. If you're not a rider, donate. And we thank you so much on behalf of all our kids at the club. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Russ. And we will be back with more 843 TV.